Yeah, hi YouTube again. It's Michael. This time with the finished relay card, ultimate relay card or relay, relay card version 2.0. <laughs> That's how how I called it. Um Yeah. I fin finished it yesterday and now I give you a little detail on on the hardware. I mean, on the physical physical hardware. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it takes you a lot of work to actually finish. Took me the better part of the day to get it done. I cleaned it already, but it didn't coat it. I have this protective coat that I always use. Um, where is it? Let's let's find it. Um, no. Somewhere up here. Well never mind. Makes it look even nicer, but if you have to correct something, it can get in the way and it looks ugly. So I didn't do that yet. But it's cleaned. And what I also did, because you know, the circuit isn't proven yet. I mean, I just thought it out, and who knows whether it works the way it is, is expected to. Um, that's why I flashed a little test program onto the card to switch the relays. So let's give it power. I give it power, and then see what's happened. So this is a very dull little test program to switch the relays on in sequential order. It's a running light for, for relays. <laughs> That's what it is. And I also used fancy blue LEDs, as you can see. So to make it look a little more... Yeah, a little more... Uh, well, fancy, right? A little more modern. And yeah... This time I also separated the coil uh, voltage supply from the digital supply and did a few more tricks on this card. And yeah, the next thing I'll do is get, probably get the display running because the Atmega 169 has an integrated LCD controller. That is, this is where there's a standard LCD display here. Took me half an hour to get it into the, into the socket that really, that really kept me going. And yeah, next thing will be to get the software ready. I have a lot of plans as to. Oh, I switch it off again. It's getting on my nerves. Um, I have a lot of plans as to the software and the concept, the concept of the software. And once there is something to see here, um, I'll do another video. Uh, suffice to say for now that um, the driver is realized as a core I write in C and then onto this core it will, this core can open a socket and a client program may this be a GUI or may this be just a command or client um, can then send any uh, in, a, in a high level language uh, JSON that's the language can send commands to the card and ask the card stuff without even knowing about the hardware just it's just has to know the, well the socket and the protocol and this makes a separation possible but this it is even possible to say attach the card to PC1 and use it from PC2 not using Ethernet for example because it is over a socket so the client can run on another machine and if you don't have that, a second PC, you can use Ethernet. But Ethernet, this will be something I do at a later time of the project. This will also be quite some work. But all in all, I guess it will be very neat. And with the real-time clock, I plan to do functions like, um, say, switch relay on every day from 0800 to 0900 or weekly or monthly or do it once and then you have the possibility to ask the card about active timers manipulate them, change them um, this will be the timer functions will be very sophisticated on this card and it's all it's real time you say 
uh, do this on August the 10th um, or st stuff like that so you can use actual time real time uh, this will be and the connectivity of the card uh, this will be its foremost features and then in version 2.5 uh, I, I plan to do an expansion board so by using one card you can expand relays so this is also why you can ask the card about its properties and then it, it'll say it has firmware so, so and so on and it will have an expansion card installed or not installed and this will all, all be things the card can do once uh, this is all finished but it'll still be it'll still be a lot of work so uh, once I have another experiment or can use the display stuff um, I'll do another videos and yeah thanks for watching have a lot of fun. See you soon.